Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to today's video on the Team Khalid YouTube channel. My name is Ransom Rossing and today I will be taking you guys, well, taking you guys on a little ride on FIFA 21 because we're going to show you the new skill moves that have been introduced in this year's new FIFA because it is quite important this year. Um, we have seen a drastic, drastic change in FIFA 21 gameplay where we can start skill chaining again. So it is possible to do one skill move and then do another in the same tempo. Last year it wasn't. So let's get straight into it and show you guys the skill moves that are now good in FIFA 21. Likely one of the most interesting features in FIFA 21 this year, Agile Dribbling. It is just using R1 and wiggling your left stick. Um, and anyone can do this pretty much. So you can do this with your fullback, with your center back and your strikers. But the thing is with Agile Dribbling, the players with the higher agility and the higher dribbling will do this insanely quick. As you can see, like CR7, Neymar, Messi. You can definitely like just keep your opponent guessing what way you're going. Also seeing a new 4 star skill move in FIFA 21. It's called a drag to heal and it's actually very effective in the box. If you use L1 and play it like a Giovinco spin, it is very good to change in direction before the shot. Up next is a skill move for people that aren't really using players with that high skill moves. But also the 5 star skillers can do this probably pretty well because it's the feint forward and turn and it only requires 3 star skills but it's very very good as well in the box as you can see. Uh, it's just flicking your right stick in the opposite direction that you're walking in so it makes it fairly easy to, uh, to execute and it's very deadly. And I can almost hear you guys shouting already, like, are there also new 5-star skill moves? Well, yeah, there is one. It's called the ball roll fake turn, and it's actually quite a hard skill move to use. I mean, you have to use L1, R1, and you have to, like, perform a 90-degree Giovinco spin. It's, like, in the opposite direction of that you're running, and you also have to cut in. So, basically, you're doing the whole move uh, with the right stick, as you can see, by following the controller. Mastering this skill move should be very hard, but it could be very good in surprising your opponent. So up next is a skill move that is a little bit easier for everyone to perform. It is called the bridge. And the bridge has actually been in FIFA before. Um, I'm not sure if it was in FIFA 19 already, but in FIFA 20, this really wasn't the skill move that people would use as uh, it didn't really feel like it was working as it is intended. Right now, the bridge is working as it is intended. This skill move can be performed by anyone because you only need one star skill move and it gives an initial pace burst uh, to just get passed by your opponent and only that by using R1 twice or RB if you're on Xbox. So last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have the directional bridge. And this skill move also only requires one skill move, so you could do this with your goalkeeper, but I wouldn't recommend you to. Um, the skill move is really unique because from standing still position, as you can see, you can basically just touch the ball in any direction that you want it to go. You can do this skill move by performing L1, R1 together with the right stick. So hold L1 and R1 and flick your right stick in whatever direction you want the ball to go. And whilst running, this is basically a bridge that you can decide what side you want the ball to go past the defender. The difference with the regular bridge is that you can now change direction. So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.